All right, boys and girls, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm working on this uh, Jeep Wrangler today. I got Tony working on the interior as usual. You can see the top has all this mold, mildew everywhere. And uh, it's taking a little bit of elbow grease to get it off, but I'm using my Universal Clean and Prep diluted two ounces of product in a 16 ounce bottle then I filled it with water. So it's one part product to seven parts water is removing all that mold. I've done this section right here. I'm sure you can tell the difference. Um, this corner was really bad, was really like all of that. And basically all I'm doing is spraying the Universal Clean and Prep on and using a hard bristle brush uh, to agitate everything and remove it from the pores and the surface. And then after that, um, I'm wiping it with a damp microfiber towel. And then as soon as it all looks like this, then we'll go into uh, putting on some protection. I'm gonna use the Marine Series plastic and rubber hydrate, which is uh, what's, I mean, it's made for stuff like this, extreme weather environments and black trim and or um, a plastic variant, which is what this top is. So you can see the difference in the spot I've already done and I'm going to go ahead and get more of it knocked out and I'll bring you back when it's all done. All right, I know it's a little noisy with the generator out there and all, but I'm almost done with this Jeep top and I wanna to show you guys what I'm doing. So it's got, it had mildew all over it, mold, mildew. I've got this crazy electric sprayer and uh, I spray uh, universal clean and prep all over a section just like so get it wet I'm using a uh, hard bristle brush that's what I use for my tires and literally scrubbing it see all that gunk and grime that's coming out of there you just want to be careful by the paint here so you so that you don't hit the paint pretty important so that's it giving it a scrub down just like so cross hatch pattern up and down back and forth really well on the edge you can see all the brown crap that's coming up And then I just give it another light mist with some Universal Clean and Prep. I've got a damp microfiber towel here and literally you just wipe away the residue. All the gunk, wipe it away. So, flip it to that clean side. Then what I have been doing is spraying it down with Universal Clean and Prep one more time. No brush this time. We're just taking the towel on the clean side and picking up what we didn't get when we wiped off the bulk and that's it all clean now it's time to protect get this thing all protected and then I'm gonna move on to the paint all right I just want to show you real quick I just got done cleaning the top as you saw looks great now no mold, no mildew, good stuff. But I wanna show you, that's what came out, came off that roof. So I would always clean the uh, brush and that towel in this bucket. And look at this, that is disgusting. That's all the mold from the roof. That's all that is in there, gross. So I'm gonna get back to cleaning this thing up. I'll show you, uh, what she looks like when it's all done. I'll go ahead and patch in the uh, the detail finale to uh, the top cleaning video so you can see what it looks like when it's all protected. But now I gotta do the rest of the truck, so I'm gonna do that. All right, the Jeep's all done. Cleaned and protected that top, it looks awesome. That's universal dressing 
I actually use universal dressing on everything, the top as well as all the trim and the tires. At one part product to, I want to say that six parts of water. Uh, we, the exterior got the uh, Recon Rescue lineup, the spray sealant. That's a really nice concoction of, uh, it's got some Carnuba wax in there, some liquid Carnuba, and uh, it has the, uh, the acrylic uh, that we used, well, that we've used for years, the really nice, slick, very well protecting uh, acrylic. It's a very nice to use product that doesn't break the bank and it's ready to use right out of the bottle. So, Jeep done. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.